day two, we, what time is it? Like eight o'clock? It's like eight. It's around eight o'clock, around 8.30. Um, so, well, I woke up at 5.30, but uh, Casey wasn't feeling well. Probably, probably the tuna. So she's not gonna eat that anymore. And I'll trade noodles for tuna. It's quite a bargain. And uh, so today we got 14 miles or 13 miles to the shelter. Hopefully we get there. We're sore, but uh, I mean, you kind of get used to it after a couple days. So let's see what this trail has in store for us. So I believe we just made it to the top of, oh, that hurts. Rattlesnake Mountain. Holy bejeebers. You all right? Look at that. That's beautiful. That's, I'm tired. about almost two miles in I don't know what mountain we're on I just know we're on the Appalachian Trail it's hot my armpits smell really bad and I don't know how Casey still loves me but she does thanks so we reached it's probably not even the top of the mountain but what's awesome about these fast inclines going up steep mountains once you get to the top it's like that it's just it's it just goes on forever and the breeze it, and the breeze yes you guys can't feel it but the breeze feels like heaven it's it's great to be up here so hopefully we stay up here for a couple miles or so I get, and I guess I'm looking at Jersey this whole time, which is surprisingly more green than PA. Alright, so I should have never stopped recording. I'm just gonna... That's... That's fantastic. That is amazing. This is lovely. We are high up here. Wow. Wow. Alright, I don't know what lake that is, that could be Crater Lake for all I know, but I think we're far away from Crater Lake now, but we're tired. Look how sweaty my back is. That's nice, right? Oh man, I can't wait to eat lunch, and neither can Casey. Three miles to go. Woo! We just ate lunch. That tavern over there was very nice enough. I forget what the name was, but that tavern over there was very nice enough to give us ice cold water. And we ate our lunch, and now you can't see it, but there's a mountain. And we gotta go all the way up, and all the way down, and all the way up, and all the way down, and all the way up, and all the way down, until we get to our shelter. So we got about... A little bit more than seven miles left, everybody. 
see you later. Finally, I got up on top of this big, 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 big mountain. And I mean big. And uh, it's hot. We're really, really drained. I don't even know what the temperature is, but it's just, it's bad. So we made the agreement to go to the first shelter we see instead of the second one because the second one doesn't have any water and on a day like today I don't want to die and neither does Casey so off to like I can't even talk Grand Henderson shelter it's about maybe four miles away let's have fun we're now at, um, oh, tower. what tower? I don't know. I can't remember. We're at, we're at this place, up here, but I can't remember the name. But there's a guy working up there, and it seems like the best job on earth. Look at that, look at the hawk. You see the hawk? It's freaking beautiful. I bet he gets a lot of them by his, uh, thing. Let me show you this view out here. Look at this hawk. It's so beautiful. That is the closest I've ever been to a hawk. Tell me if you see it, okay? You see that? Anyway, there's a lot of kids and they're having some kind of like eighth grade graduation thing, which is pretty cool. You know, um, they graduated eighth grade, so their parents signed the paper letting them go hiking for four days. That's pretty neat, but it sucks that they just decided to camp right behind us and we need sleep later on, so. I asked Casey if she can make it another five miles to the next shelter, but her hips hurting her a lot. And I'm not trying to send her to the hospital on day two. So, um, hopefully tomorrow we will make it to, I don't know. I gotta go look that up. Didn't, didn't do my research yet, but take a gander at this awesome shelter. Here, let me so, I know I take a lot of videos of all these shelters and all that stuff, but it's pretty neat. They got water down there, there's a privy over there, and there is a fire pit, but you're really not supposed to have one. Um, I don't know who had a fire here, but it's against the law in New Jersey. And there's a lot of bears, so we got a bear box. Oh, or, take a bit, uh, thing of the sign. Uh, it says... Do not approach them. 
don't let your actions cause a bear to be destroyed. It's pretty funny. Um, I don't think there'll be any bears. We just saw these two guys, actually. They were really cool dudes. They're through hiking. They came from Georgia, and they got about six weeks left to make it to Maine from here, which is insane to think about. But um, they, I asked them if they've seen a bear at all, and they said, no, we sleep with our food, and they don't have any bear troubles at all. So it makes you think, but it's better to be safe than sorry, I guess.